What is up YouTube and welcome to this Parasite video. I only recently got to watch this on Blu-ray and I was absolutely blown away. I finally got to see why this movie deserved its Best Picture nomination and win over the Joker, which I personally thought was a slam dunk for winning that Best Picture, which itself is an absolutely superb movie. And if I had to choose between the two, I would have a very tough time as they are both so very, very different. Now, warning, there will be spoilers in this video for the movie as well. So if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend going and checking it out. It's just come out in the UK on Blu-ray just a couple of weeks ago, which is when I actually watched it. So you can go and pick it up there as well. And it's also on Amazon Prime and other services there for on-demand movies. And we will be discussing the Scholar's Rock in this movie and how it is integral to the entirety of the movie. Now, throughout the movie, it changes lanes and has one of the best twists in cinema history. I'm surprised I was able to avoid spoilers for so long, as it turns out that the original housekeeper kept her husband in a secret room in the house. As this is revealed, the movie switch gears again and reveals just how the rich people really, really think of the poor people who work for them and particularly how they actually smell. The movie exposes the huge disparity between the rich and poor. The Kim family live in a sub-level basement but are also able to see outside onto the street, albeit their view mainly is a drunk man urinating on the street, which changes their life twice. The rich Park family live in a triumph of capitalism and architecture and their view is a stunning greenery scene which the Kim family take in as they sit drinking. Each once one of them have actually secured employment within the residence and from the family. Now the Kim's family's lives actually change for the perceived better at the time when a family friend arrives and gives them a rock. Now to the outsider this is just a nice ornate rock to put up somewhere in the home but in reality, it is actually a scholar's rock. This is supposed to give the family good fortune, luck, and wealth. It is a very big part of Korean culture, particularly in the nouveau rich of the 80s, which is where the actual director of the movie experiences. He actually helped go and look for these rocks. It was a big part of his life. Now, just as this is actually given to the family, Choi is offered a lucrative job tutoring the daughter of a rich and powerful family. Now, yes, The Rock did its job and started to bring wealth with it and fortune to the family almost immediately. And like I said, these rocks are for the nouveau rich, which is pretty much what this family are trying to be. The symbolism of The Rock is huge. It is there throughout all the major story beats in the movie. And Bong Joon-ho, the movie's director, said that he started to think of The Rock of a manifestation of the family's desire for a shortcut to be rich and have at least a decent home. I mean, they can't even get Wi-Fi at the start of the movie. And yes, this is there is a shortcut to their wealth because... They capitalize on this shortcut of tutoring a rich person. Mr. Kim has had multiple businesses and ways to get rich. It is revealed throughout the movie, much to his wife's ire. And his family are desperate to get ahead in life, which The Rock essentially gives them. The family pretty much seem a tight unit at the start, regardless of their place in Korean society. They get more money as time goes on, but they essentially start to lose themselves as the movie goes on, and they become desperate to get all of the jobs in this household. The Rock presents itself later on in the movie as the family are getting fat stacks of cash and thinking they are getting ahead in life. They are mocking the rich family who employ them. This is the first half of the movie where they just absolutely just ridicule the rich, not realizing that they are looked down upon heavily. The man urinating in front of their apartment again appears just as he did before The Rock came into their life. So without learning the lessons of life and becoming more understanding, they resort to violence that usually brings with the rock and they use the rock to attack the drunk man this goes very very poorly and it's a whole skit and there's a lot of comedy woven throughout this movie and i would probably argue this is where the rock starts to sort of turn on them so to speak this is now their downfall as the flood comes in and destroys the kim family's home with flood water in a very powerful and visceral scene the rock is just there floating because 
In my eyes, it seems like a supernatural thing with some sort of sentience, but in reality, the prop is just a styrofoam thing, and there is a funny story about how the actors threw it at each other, not realizing that it was actually a styrofoam item. And, well, the sun is looking at the, the rock there, floating, and looking very, very confused. He then holds it in the shelter for the flood victims as their life has unraveled, holding onto it for some sort of comfort there. It goes to show that their lives are hollow, and the wealth that was brought to them is an absolute curse. If they hadn't have lived beyond their means and occupied the house, the window that was actually open would have been shut and their apartment would have been safe and they wouldn't have had to go on and go through all this craziness and they could have kind of just escaped and stopped looking after the park family and they could have gone back to their life but no they lived beyond their means it presents itself again as another shortcut to success as they try and use it to kill the man in the basement this is the thing that stands between them and their perceived happiness a major inconvenience to say the least. This all backfires, it is, it is used on the sun, and he has to have brain surgery at the end of the movie. Now why this is happening, Mr. Kim is realizing that he will never be respected by the Park family, and this is essentially a curse upon them. The Rock started their journey, in a way, ended it. He then had to go and live in the bunker there as well, and the son decides that, well, now I have to become rich. I have to become one of these nouveau riches like Mr. Park, and then that is how he can have a get-ahead at life. There is no shortcut. He has to get a good life, a wife, a good job, that sort of thing. The rock was actually used by scholars who would never go beyond their home to see great views and use it as a sort of muse or a device and a sort of thing to use as a supplement for real views when painting pictures. Now this is curious as the views from the home are big. They're a big metaphor in the movie and they have gone beyond their own views there and they have absolutely caused a chaos for their entire family. Now, of course, there are so many metaphors in this movie, and this is just a short little one here because this is the thing that really I took home with the movie, which is weird to say because I was actually sitting on my sofa when I was watching it at home, but this is what stuck with me, and I just felt compelled to kind of talk about this and research it a bit more and kind of get my thoughts down here onto an audio form. But that's it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on so you never ever miss a video as well. And we will be back tomorrow with a Snowpiercer video breakdown, but that's it, bye.